All right, guys, we're working on the MPS again. Probably part th three right now. We're doing, I've got my other coolant hose. is here. And we got Alex in the building. You probably would have already seen the video of the rig, so it's sitting out the front and it's delicious. And it's just so much easier to work on than this. Uh, hey, Alex, that's a nice shirt, man. Thanks. We, it's my man's channel. You should go subscribe to it. <laughs> we're just gonna, I picked up the um, map sensor. Shout out to Reese Wolf, Wolf Racing. Thank you so much. Uh, of course, for one. So I'm getting Alex to install that right now. And at the moment, because of where my intake, uh, my turbo is sitting, right down here, um, there's not much room from the stock battery box to where I'm going to be putting my intake. So what I've done is I've taken the ECU. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I've taken the ECU off the side. And what I'm going to try and do is put the ECU. So that sits there. Now I've got so much more room to be able to put an elbow on the end to that and then turn around here with the three inch and and then I want to put my ECU because the cabling's there right at the front of that and then it will still be out of the way of where the pod filters will sit. I'm thinking that's the best option. I'm thinking. So we're gonna see we're gonna see how that goes. So I'm just gonna see how I'm gonna mount it. I'm gonna roughly put this in. So that's it there like that and my game plan is to have the ECU if it if it does fit to pretty much might have to cut that edge off so it's flat, but pretty much. That could work, eh, Alex? It could work, yeah. So I'm thinking that's the best option if I want to keep the stock battery box and that, but I might later on anyway um, either run a smaller battery. I may still need more room um, here anyway, so if I do need more room, then I'm going to have to get rid of the battery box. So at the moment, put the map sensor in. Alex is doing that now and sort out the intake and the ECU and stuff like that because either way the ECU has to stay in here. So probably where I would have left off with um, Alex the other day, I was trying to mock up the original box to be able to get the ECU like, so there's gonna be more room. So now since my turbo isn't sitting so far this way because the dump is so big and has to get around everything, um, it's been pushed this way more. So the box actually sits like here, right here, which as you can see, is like ridiculous, there's, n there's just no room. What I'm doing is I'm getting a custom um, three inch welded up by my cousin again, so thanks to my cousin Reese for that. So what I'm gonna need is more space. So what I'm gonna have to do, and I'm just gonna do it anyway, is do a battery location, which Alex is coming in now in the rig. I'm gonna be putting pretty much like a little, a sheet of, okay, the door just shut. Just over, still using the original holes that the battery went into, put probably like a plate, or something like that. Maybe sit it on the angle or something <clears throat> with a cover over it. I don't know, something, something just out of the way. You know what I mean? Even if it's, even if it's somewhat flat, just like that with a cover over it. That's all this room now to fit like an intake, pretty much. And then yeah, I'll just like solder up the battery terminals with an inline fuse in the engine bay side. Run through the car. Either I'm gonna go under or through. Three would be better, but I don't know how we're gonna do it. I'll talk with Alex, see what we do. And then put another inline fuse in the boot where the battery um, relocation is gonna sit. Game plan for today is get cable to be able to do this. Um, so I can put the battery in the boot. And then really after that, it's just mocking up, you know, cutting my the top piece that I gotta put here, pretty much. I'm just top piece I gotta put there. Um, and just cut that bend off, putting that into the elbow, that silicon elbow, making up like a box or a bracket or something for the ECU, and which I might still be able to like somewhat use the the plastic um, cover that is somewhere. Um, that might be here anyway, just to go over the top of it or something like that. But either way, and yeah, relocate this battery from where we left off, probably. Yuck! I needed to get nuts for the um the downpipe bolts. Still gonna be using the um, spring washers. So, and then I just got two nuts as well. So that's already lined up underneath, which I'll be putting them on now. I need to cut this well, pretty much right before that bend starts on there. So it can go into the, um, the elbow on the turbo. And then I've got a couple of three inch pieces here, which I'll probably get um, a reducer as well for that. Get that to cut probably to you know, roughly where the juice is, maybe the straight, and then I'll add the straight bit in. I've got a piece um, coming as well, which is a housing, sorry. Um, that's already three inch as well, which is good. And then I might just get to use maybe the um, the other well, the other side of this 
elbow I might get to use maybe for because by the time it sits here roughly maybe to just shoot it out you know shoot a little bend just for the pod filter to sit right there right there so pretty much that um i'm gonna be bolting the there's one bolt hole right here um and i had an extra bolt left over which is somewhere oh there it is this bolt here um, left over from something, I think from the top the top mount intercooler or something like that. And that bolts in, which will hold that there, which I can get a um, enclosure um, made up over the top of that later. Uh, but that'll just sit there pretty much like that. The cables aren't hitting anything. Math sensor connectors here, which is fine, because it's probably going to be here somewhat. And then the fuse, I've just got to put the zero gauge in this side of the fuse. So what I'm going to do now is... Um, putting the downpipe nuts and bolts on, and then probably putting that zero gauge wire in the fuse, and then the battery box and all that, I'll sort that out probably the next time, but when my cousin comes over to um, cut and weld and stuff my intake, custom intake, then that'll probably be like one of the last parts before we can crank it over before we go tuning so it is exciting but it's just little bits and pieces i have to keep buying on the way that i keep running into like i did not think i would have had to do a battery reload but of course i do so a few inches later on what i've done so far bolted the um bolted the battery box to the floor plate in the actual boot so i'll show you now i did overcut it because I measured off of that little lip, but that's fine. I can just put, I'm going to screw a L bracket on here. Um, the box is now secured in place. You can't get bolts in this side. So I've got two bolts in here, which are, I'll show you. So what I did, I just drilled through the top and then I um, got my screwdriver and rounded out where the, um, where the bolts can go. And then, yeah, the reason why you can't, so see roughly the width of the battery, you're going to hit section here which is a boxed out section which you can't get a nut and bolt into there so the two the two um the two nuts and bolts are just what it's gonna have to what it's gonna have to be like for now it is still secured in place um it's not like it's gonna go anywhere it's completely bolted in fix up this cable coming into here probably put the fuse in the in the fuse box uh in the battery box sorry and I ran a ground, which I drilled a hole next to. Well, there's a little rivet right here, and I drilled a hole next to it, which I, could, I grounded down the, the surface. Um, so it was bare metal, and then nut and bolted that. So now I've got this all ready to go. I bought this. This is pre-made, so I did buy a zero gauge pretty much for no reason now. But that's going to go onto the neutral, which is good because on this lid, it's got these bits on the side, which the cable can come up pretty much. So... This can probably come up this side or come up this side if it ends up, whatever it ends up being. Um, put the, the other inline fuse in. I don't need the strap now. I was going to strap the box in over the top and just have this big box here. But having it recessed is much better. A lot easier and you can still get space to this compartment here where the jack is. So, yeah, that was a little section I had to cut out. I finished this side. Um, putting zero gauge into the fuse was super, super tight. Math sensors here to go into the adapter that I'm coming in the mail, which also should be here Friday. So I can only mock up so much for the intake. Pretty much it's coming to the end now, which is good. Um, I'm gonna be talking to the tuner as well, which I really wanna go through Elite Pro Tuning. So I'll probably be messaging them and um, seeing what, what the goal is. And pretty much the next step will be welding the intake, which I'll take you guys around when he's welding that. I'm probably going to as well, I noticed. I'm probably gonna be blocking off this port because that's all i was doing anyway when i blocked it off that's why you went to wastegate pressure hence the flutter which i like the flutter that's what i'm going to be doing is probably taking this off and selling that so if you want a gfb response um and i've got the block off plug that is already under there it was just this tube that was here to here going into the intake um was literally doing nothing it literally was doing nothing i closed the port and let it vent to atmosphere like 100 percent. but it would hit the plug go back go for wastegate pressure. I probably won't be running that. I'll probably just run a block off plate. There's no point in me having that there. So I won't have to run a port um, like this on my intake. It'll just be that bit with the, the barb in the top. I could cover uh, housing and the math sensor housing as well. So pretty much, yeah, we're getting to the end now. I've just ordered a coupler for that 
two and a half inch to three inch because I'm going three inch. And I've also ordered turbo beanie, which is going to look sick. I also bought the... Actually, I'm not going to tell you the colour. I'll show you at the end. But I bought a paint to do my rocker cover in. Intake will also be the same colour. I'm going to go to the back, put the battery just sitting in there, seeing where the terminals are and whatnot. The other one's already lugged, so that's fine, the ground. Um, and just see where I'm going to put that fuse, that inline fuse, and then put the tail to the other, the other crimp lug that I've got for the battery terminal. And then we should be all Gucci gang. Uh. Today is I've got a 2.5, because that's a 2.5 inlet, um, 2.5 to 3 inch because I'm going to go custom 3 inch and I'm going to be cutting up and marking up where this is going to sit so pretty much I'm going to have it so it sits like this almost up on an angle a little bit cut it straight so it's directly a 90 um, then use a piece of this or use a bit of the straight to come up a little bit so it will come up and then use the other 45 to bring it out straight, like a little bit of the 45 to bring it out straight, sorry. And then be putting on this bad boy here, which has the air straightener in it, and it's for the MAF housing. That'll be going like somewhere here, like that. And then probably with the other 45, I'll just add another little 45 to shoot it this way. And have a little 45 with a pod filter right here. So... That's the plan. I'm going to cut it up, mock it up, mark the lines and everything. And then my cousin's going to be welding that this afternoon. So as long as I have that all done, he pretty much just needs to come here. So we are... Oh, i get the Bob the Builder uh, safety goggles off. I've um, lined where it needs to be welded for my cousin so it's easier for him. Um, and numbered which piece goes where, which I'm going to be with him when he does it anyway. But this is what we've come up with. So once I get the coupler, I know it's going to sit roughly, you know, somewhere there. So that, okay, so it's gonna sit like that. It's pretty much the same shape as the HTP. So that'll sit somewhere like that. It doesn't have the recirc pipe, but pretty much yeah, same thing. Might get a bead welded on there somewhat. And then the pod filter will sit right there. Math sensor reaches perfect as well. And then a pod filter will sit here and then we can make up some kind of box thing that's gonna hold it in place. So, oh, and then I'm gonna probably drill a hole here um for the bung for the other side of the boo solenoid which is there so i'll probably i'll probably weld a, a little bung here or something on the side so you don't see it as much um and then this will all get sprayed the color that i'm going to do the rocker cover in um so i'll probably do that at the same time but we need this welded up first all right what's going on guys we just came back from my uncle's place uh, where reese welded up all my stuff um it's absolutely chucking it down at the moment i've got on the end of the intercooler piping a small bead just so that the um silicon coupler doesn't actually come out oh look at it as i said it's going to get painted anyway but yeah that's schmick now all one piece that's so good you need to say what's up guys already <laughs> teleporting to the garage Ooh. brand's garage because we're doing mps teams today what have we got what have we a got black for potty for the intake that's unpainted at the moment. Intake's looking absolutely fresh. And then we just got a little potty oh. just sit in there. That oh. fits perfectly. Just needs to top. clamp that down. Dude! Alright, let it sit. Give, give it a look. It's not a tent, though. And we got the beanie that's the size of you know what. Ah, it really says a lot about you, man. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> Let's get a little car check. Ah! Oh, the battery! Like that. That'll sit there. On there. Bonk. Bonk. And then the other one. Sits under there. Plug that Coochie Mabuti in. Alright. And we're good. And that this Gucci gang sits over. That's money's mode. Let's get some uh, some fluid in there, connect up our sensors and give her a kick in the gut. So we're starting it today. Yeah, I wanna I wanna bleed the cool until it's ready to go. Four yeah. tuning days on four o'clock September. Fourth of September. You'll see both of us there. We'll be uh, heading down in the ute behind the tow truck because <laughs> they advised us to tow it there. Okay, so we're going to tighten the, the pod. Yep. And then we're going to connect our hose because we've got a hose for the uh, PCV which will connect there. over there. For now. For now, yeah. Just for now. Because then I think what I'm going to do is weld the end of that and put two bungs on the top. Mm -hmm. For the oil cafeteria there, which will be eight. 
I'll rewrap this now as well. So we'll heat wrap. We'll do that. We'll do that now. Get all their hoses connected. Sensors in. Potty on. Cool it in the reservoir. Yeah. And we're gonna get this puppy started. What are the AF? What do you say the AFRs have to be? Yeah? 14 and 15 should be good if it goes above or below that. Then. Yeah, etc. etc. Straight away. Lucky we got the um, the old trusty access port there, so that will tell us all the info that we need. Yeah. Well, I, <laughs> I couldn't get it on the screw. All right, plug that boy in. That was crazy. It's like a new intake. Everything is clamped up. We've got the. Oh, it's cut off. Cancel it. Okay, we've got the PCV hose just sitting on the main. Now, the brand new is ready to And just making making sure nothing's licking. So, what, what Kool Aid did we buy? New Line! Hello! We bought some New Line. Um, we new bought line. some <laughs> premix corn. New Line! Premix corn. Six litres. So we're going to check, uh, get check for leaks and bleed the coolant. Power swing pump in, reservoir in, check for leaks, starter up, make sure our AFRs are between 14 and 15. Yeah. And then, so here today, you are going to see the MPS. First, first start. start, first start. That's it. First oh, start of the big slash small turbo. I watched part two the other day. Like we got, we've done so much from that video to this video. Like this video you're probably watching right now is cream. It's 95% done. Look, I've booked into the tuna, it has to be done. <laughs> we said start, bleed. Start, bleed. And then, and then we'll start the bleed. Yeah, we'll start the bleed. And then 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 we'll start the bleed. Bring the down, so not camera side, which is good. I'm scared. Yeah. Dude, you said that thing about blowing up and stuff. Oh, okay, good. Okay. I need a key. <laughs> Alright, so we've unplugged a uh, crank sensor. Now we're Can going to be shit that my car's up like this. No. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna test if we're getting oil. So what I'll do is keep cranking until you say. Yeah. I'm scared. Hold up. I don't know what to do, I'm scared. Alright, go. What do I do? It's Oh! Yeah. Hey! Yeah. We got oil! That's some good Woo. oil! That's some whoop, good whoop, whoop, whoop. You got oil, baby? How do we put that back in the engine? Yeah! Alright, we're gonna right. connect connect that back up. Dude, I heard my... Oh, that was the catless dump. We're gonna connect it back up. Oh my god. We're gonna connect it back up and we're gonna oh we're gonna do some things. Alright, Coochie Don is scared to start the vehicle with no coolant. We're gonna we, get an Instagram flick for you. Yep. Yeah. Which follow the Instagram at you. Which, which, and the Facebook. Alright, um This is Charlie Boots. Can you help me? How are you getting it off then? <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> do you have to push down? Yeah. Yeah. Hold hold it then. Oh you're doing it. Push it. Push it. <sighs> Push it real yeah. good. Oh, bum, 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 Do we use a fun? Yeah. I'm a professional pourer, so I don't need a fun, but anyway. I'm not. Ah. Yeah. Oh, what? the plug. It's time, brother. All right, first start. Let's get it. A great success.
just, no, just the, um, just the manifold. There'd probably be some, like, cleaning stuff on there or something, like oil or something, just burning off. It starts. It, you've started it for the first time. That is loud. Haven't even gone one yet. Dude. That's loud. That's not connected, eh? That's just dump, eh? What? That's just out of dump. No, no. That's connected. Oh, is it? That's connected! Oh, what? So out the back? Yes. It sounded like it was coming out of down there. No. Yeah. We'll just leave it like that. Well, let's look at the back. We're live. That's an MPS started dance. Wow, he's happy. <laughs> Oh, we get it on the road. He's a good Let's boy. Let's take it around the block. He's a good boy. Oh, we did it. Yeah. It's, it's ready for the dino right now. It's literally ready for the dino. Hey, Rappi, just punch that just for aesthetic looks. Punch that for aesthetic looks. But I could, I could take, take this to the dino right now if we wanted to. Yeah. We could take this right now. Literally right now. And AFRs, like Elite Pro. On literally stoichiatric matrix. Stoichiatric ratio, yeah, 14.7 to 1, and this puppy is running on 14.70. So it's literally 0.1 of perfect. Yeah, 0.01 of perfect. Yeah, well, you know what I mean. Yeah. So, big led, led the coolant somewhat so far. Um, we no can more. put the cap on, get this out when we do the engine out because I've flown, but that's not stopping us from making Get this out. Yeah, yeah that's not make, from making, making the pistol power. But we're good. Same with like um, in the cooler, we have we just hand tightened everything, haven't completely tightened it all down. We're good. It was, it was reading everything. It was Gucci. Yeah. Screw that up. Paint that. Paint that. And finished. Finito. And front bar back. Oh, actually, I think we might run it. No front bar on the street. <laughs> I'm thinking no bonnet. Yeah. No bonnet. No front bar. <laughs> Take the window windshield out. So now. No, actually, you know what? I'm not going to paint it in a video. They can see big reveal on Dino Day yeah. of it ready. Yeah. With the nice paint. But, paint we'll, do, we'll do a little bit of a clippage on the painting side. Yeah. Yeah. But the next video you're going to see on the MPS is going to be where? Right, right here. here. <laughs> Alright, so next video uh, on the MPS will be Dino Day, which will be in just Fourth, started, of, fourth of September. Yeah, half a month, so like 20 days or something like that. It's good, um, it gives me time to finalise everything so it's good to, and I'm not rushed for anything. It also gives us time to finalise the uh, U, which will be also done soon. But that's yeah, crazy. that's, that's already got a base map. Yeah, that's going to be it for this video though. Make sure you slap a massive thumbs up. Yeah, keep us in that YouTube algorithm, yeah, man. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> slap the thumbs up. I'll leave your comments, any ideas you have. Um, like, subscribe. Remember, RSK is a family. Spread, Spread the, the word. word.